Hi there, this is Eric Ruderman from Northwestern University in Chicago, and I've been perusing the psoriatic arthritis abstracts for a room now here at uh, ACR Convergence 2021. Um, I want to chat for a minute today about an abstract that was presented yesterday uh, and raises some interesting questions about the future of psoriatic arthritis therapy. And this was a, an oral presentation on a phase two study with uh, Repositinib, uh, presented by Philip Meese. This is a, a combination TIC2 JAK1 inhibitor. Uh, and in this phase two study, they looked at uh, three different dosing arms of the Repositinib, one of which was presumably too low to be effective versus placebo. And the major takeaway was that the drug was effective. Um, uh, the primary endpoint was an ACR20, and it met that for both of the higher doses of Repositinib. Um, I thought most interesting in the efficacy data was a pretty remarkable uh, level of minimal disease activity with therapy, uh, reaching about 35% in the two higher doses and virtually nobody in the placebo. So that was quite an effect size. Uh, I, I think that beyond, though, the um, study itself, it raises some questions about um, what we should be using and what we will be using to treat psoriatic arthritis. So the the goal here was to combine to have an agent that would combine um, blockage of TIC2, which is really important in IL-23 signaling, which we know to be really important in skin disease, in psoriatic disease, uh, with inhibition of JAK1, which we know is really helpful for uh, improving uh, joint disease in patients with psoriatic arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis and other types of inflammatory arthritis. And uh, the thinking is that you kind of hit both of those. I guess my question is, one of the challenges we've had from the beginning with uh, kinase inhibitors broadly and JAK inhibitors specifically, is the uh, precision of the drugs and the specificity of what they're inhibiting uh, and what kind of off-target effects we're gonna see, particularly in terms of safety. Um, obviously, this is a big issue right now uh, with the whole question of the oral surveillance study with tofacitinib and the risk of um, cardiovascular events and, and deep vein thromboses. Um, and so I, I think it'll be interesting to see as, as um, companies start looking at these combined agents that really expand the target, uh, whether any improvement in efficacy is going to be outweighed uh, by impacts on safety. Uh, this is a phase two tr trial. It's a little early to, to know the answers to those kinds of questions and the safety data. Look, pretty similar to the kinds of things that we've seen with JAK inhibitors before, again, recognizing that there were a small number of patients in the trial, so uh, unusual effects are not going to be seen. Uh, but I, I do look forward to learning more about this and, and obviously the uh, Ducravacitinib, the other TIC2 agent that's in development, to really see where these may fit into our algorithm for treating psoriatic arthritis. Uh, for more information on Convergence 2021, uh, keep your eye on Room now for the next few days. And thanks again for joining me.